My name is Robert from Plymouth in the UK, if that jogs your memory. Yeah, yeah, I know. You send me a message to Matinja, you uh, want to get uh, some answer about the Quran? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. now how may I help you? Um, I'm very curious if you if you could help. Um, I don't understand why there are different versions of the Arabic Quran. Not I'm not talking about translations. The Arabic, for instance, the Hafs Quran at Surah ten sixteen says he would not have made it known to you. Uh, the Kunbul says he would have made it known to you. The word "not" is added to the Hafs Quran in Arabic. I'm I'm kind of a bit puzzled about the many thousands of differences between the different Arabic Qurans. Yeah, I know because there are different uh, books, so because there are different publishers who has published the Quran. But basically, this uh, in the different books, the same ayah has is allocated in the Quran. Nobody can change it. What do you mean, nobody can change it? Like my means that because if anybody want to change it, but a lot of half is like a lot of people has memorized the entire Quran. If anyone can find out the mistake, he go to the publisher. He if, then he make them he make this mistake with that. I mean, at Surah thirty seven twelve, the half Quran talking of Muhammad says, "But you wonder while they mock." But the Caliph version of the Quran, they're both Arabic Qurans. The Caliph version at 3712 says, but I, that's Allah, wonder while they mock. So who's it, which one is correct? Why do the Hafs and the Caliph Arabic Qurans differ? At Surah 3712. Sorry, can you please one more time repeat it? Yes. At Surah 37. Ayah Surah verse 12. Yes, Surah 37, okay. Ayah 12. The Hafs okay. version in Arabic differs from the Caliph version in Arabic. The Hafs says, but you wonder while they mock. I'm looking at a translation of the Hafs. But the Caliph says, but I wonder while they mock. You in the Hafs is talking about Muhammad wondering. But I, in the Caliph version, is talk about Allah wondering. Okay, yeah, because uh, you are, have already read that one, but uh, I need to search it more. Yes. Then uh, just give me one and a half hour. I'll search it properly, and then I will get you it. Okay, you can certainly get back to me. I would prefer you to spend more than one hour. Um, you can always speak to me when you've done a week's preparation. What about the ancient Qurans that differ from the modern Qurans, such as the Sana Palimpsest? Have you heard of the Sana Palimpsest? No, no. Still, no, I have never yet heard. Um, it was an ancient Quran found in the big main mosque in Yemen, at Sana in Yemen. Oh. It was found in okay. the attic. And it's the world, it's a Quran that goes from Surah 1 to 37. The other Surahs hadn't been added yet. Um, it differs. Obviously, it's, uh, it, it was discovered in 1972. Uh, two German professors were invited to inspect it in 1975. And it became familiar to the world from 1975. They, they microfilmed it, but they weren't allowed to take the microfilms out of Yemen. The reason for that is because it differs with the modern Qurans, particularly the Hafs Quran. Um, the Sana Palam, sorry, the, the Hafs Quran at Surah 9 2 says, um, But know that you cannot escape Allah and that Allah will disgrace the disbelievers. Surah 9, Ayah 2. That's the Hafs, also known as the 1924 Cairo edition. But the Sana Palimpsest. The, this very old Quran, it's not complete, it goes up to Surah 37, changes you to they, third person plural, but know that they do not escape Allah, and then it adds the words and his prophet, which have been edited out of modern Qurans, but know that they do not escape Allah and his prophet. 
and that Allah will disgrace the disbelievers. So that's one more difference between the Sana Palimpsest and the modern Qurans you see. Yeah, I, I know a little bit, but uh, basically the 14,000 years ago, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam got the entire Quran and uh, our, our movie, like our the Hafiz, the, which have already memorized the entire Quran, they follow the same ayah, they follow the same rules. Yes, but there are Never different, is, there are different no, Qurans. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Uthman, 20 years after Muhammad supposedly died, he burnt a lot of Qurans, didn't he? He burnt Quranic materials. He tried to standardize the text. And then two, three hundred years later, there were still many different recitations of the Quran. There were seven schools that increased to 10 schools of the Quran. Then the best two students from each school were added. So that was 30 different ways of reciting the Quran, of which the Hafs is the most popular today. But it then increased beyond 30. Um, I'm not, it, it is rather, rather complicated. I'm still looking into this. And then in 1924, the Egyptian government, um, they went to the main university in Cairo, the Islamic University in Cairo, and they decided to choose the Hafs Quran as the standardized text for Islamic schools in Egypt. And then the Saudi Arabians adopted the Hafs Quran in the 1980s. But there seem to be a lot of, lot of problems with it. There's lots of changes between the Hafs and the other Qurans. Could I just ask, um, where are you based? Which, which mosque are you in? You're in the UK, aren't you? Uh, no, no. Basically, I went to UK, but recently I left for my home and now I am living in Pakistan. Pakistan, okay. Yeah. And and you're part of the online Quran Institute. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. I have an institute to teach the online Quran. Yes. Um, are you familiar what a palimpsest actually is? No, no. Basically, I don't know about that. Well, a palimpsest is uh, very interesting. It's it's in fact, it's two books or two two texts on one piece of paper or, or well it wouldn't be paper it would be vellum animal skin um, what you did was if you wish to write the Quran or even an old Bible okay you would uh, yeah. kill a flock of sheep skin them and you'd write on the skins now what happened when they wanted to make changes to the Quranic text what they did was they scrubbed out the old Qurans with um you know like a big big strong cloth and you scrubbed it and you would obliterate the writing and then when it dried you'd write the new quranic text on top but in places it wasn't done very well and so the sana palimpsest in places has two qurans it's easier to read under blue light if you look at the sana palimpsest under blue light in places you can see a faint earlier text where the Quran differs from the later text of the Sana Palimpsest. Um, and both of those texts differ with the Hafs text. The earliest text would be somewhere around 700. I'm obviously not a scholar, but give or take a couple of decades, it would be round about 700. And then the later text is probably about 740, 750. So you know there's a little bit of a problem there because the text differs with the modern Qurans in Arabic and I'm I'm just a bit puzzled about this you see if you could help yeah yeah I know I understand what you wanna say yeah basically I have already told you like because the publishers like publish the different way to publish no. the Quran like, no like, that's like some... that's not an honest answer sir the actual text of the Arabic Qurans for centuries have differed. The Hafs Arabic text differs from the Caliph Arabic text for centuries. No, 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 no. The no, Kunbul no. differs won't, from, won't. from the Hafs. The Hafs differs from the Warsh. 
No, no, we have a Quran and uh, uh, we didn't change, nobody changed with that we have a Quran. From the beginning, we are following the same rule. We have the like 114 surah and uh, 6,000 uh, 6, like 663 ayah that from the beginning of Prophet Sallam told and uh, month by the year by year like we are following the same. We know how many ayah from in the beginning and how many surah and which ayah were built, which place in Makkah and Medina Shri, I know very well. I feel you're reading from a script. Are you a Quranic teacher? Do you teach the Quran? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, how do you explain the hafs and the wash, which differ at chapter 2, ayah, that's verse 85? Um, it says you do in the hafs, second person plural, but it says they do in the wash. So that's another difference between the various Qurans. It's the end of um, Ayah 85, and Allah okay, is not yes. unaware of what you do, yes. that's the halves. But the wash okay, will say, yes. and, and Allah is not unaware of what they do in the, in the wash. There are thousands and thousands of differences like this between the various Qurans in Arabic. Okay, okay, just, just give me one second. Like you said to me, chapter number two, yeah? Yes. Chapter two. Okay. Verse okay. 85. Yeah, according to my Quran, according to my Quran, like, yeah, because there are 30 chapters in our Quran, yeah? I thought you had 114 chapters or surahs in the Quran. No, 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 no. We have, we have a 30 chapter, like 30 Jews and 114 surahs. Okay, 114 okay, now surahs. Okay, continue. Con con yeah, yeah, continue. So it's Chapter Surah al bakra It's Surah al bakra the cow yeah, surah. Yeah, al bakra yeah, yeah. yeah. 80, yeah, yeah, cow surah, yeah, I know. 85 and the halves. The end of the ayah 85 says, and Allah is not unaware of what you do in the halves, that second person plural, but the wash popular in Morocco says... <laughs> And Allah is not unaware of what they do. It changes it to third person plural. Okay, but according to like my Quran. Like, uh, which you... Quran which Quran are you reading from? Is it a half's Quran? No no. We have a proper Quran, the entire Quran, the thirty there are thirty chapters in this Quran. And it is about like if we say to you it is talk like this one I am talking about Allah Almighty our Allah Almighty says to us like if you kill the other person like Suma Antum talk to and if you kill other person and uh, as well if you find out if you take out the one group if you take if you take out the one group from their house like Allah Almighty uh, and if you make like if you ma make abuse with them and as well and you cannot testify like you cannot testify about them who has done about the other person who has uh, made the bad thing about the other person now inshallah Allah Almighty on the doomsday he and uh, if Allah Almighty does talk about the ruler of that government the ruler of the person who will be the ruler if the ruler doesn't find out the real person who has done the mistake who has made the mistake then allah almighty says to us this word is moral this word is moral and allah almighty will give him punishment on the door i state. don't know i don't know i don't know what you're talking about i honestly don't know what you're talking no, no, about I, I, I am talking about the I number eighty-five. Right, I'm. I'm, own, I'm not. Words. I'm not. I'm only addressing one thing. I'm addressing the grammar. It finishes you do, which is second person plural in the halves, but in the wash, that's changed to they do, which is third person plural. That's the only point I'm making. I'm not explaining the verse or. Okay, but uh, like, uh, just give me one second. Yeah, yeah, I 
know and understand. Now, can you please uh, say again what do you want to ask? One more time. The wash Quran finishes with they do in that verse, which is third person plural. But the half Quran finishes with you do, which is second person plural. So there's a difference in the grammar between the halves and the wash. Okay. Now you want to tell me the difference between half and wash? Yes. There's thousands and thousands of changes between the various Qurans. There's over 30 different Arabic Qurans with different Arabic texts. And they disagree in thousands of places. And they also disagree with the ancient Quranic manuscripts, such as the Birmingham Folio, Sana Palimpsest, and the Top Copy, Top Capi. Okay. But uh, basically, I want to tell you, like, in this Quran, like uh, Allah Almighty in ayah number 85, Surah Al-Baqarah, yeah? The cow. Yes. This means that. Now, Allah Almighty in our Quran, which I read. Yes, I, I, yes, I know Quran. that. You don't need to tell me that. I know your Quran reads, you do, second person plural. I know that. But what I'm pointing well, out like, is that other Qurans, second, second, other okay, Qurans other Qurans read differently. Other Qurans read no. they do differently. That's the, you, you know, so the grammar is different. The wash is third person plural. The hafs is second person plural. So what, what do you mean second person plural? Well, what do you mean by the, the, when, when you are saying again, again, again? And Allah is not unaware of what you do. That's how the, the hafs reads. You do is second person plural. It's a verb, it's a plural verb, and you do plural, is second plural person means, plural. Can you spell out, can you spell out plural? P-L-U-R-A-L. -L. I'm sure as a Quranic teacher you must have come across the concept of a plural. Yeah, yeah, I know, I understand. Yes. But um, according to like my Quran, Allah Almighty in I number 5, uh, he talk about like yeah if you like talk if you kill the other person if you kill the other person in a number if you kill the other person and uh, the ruler of the government I, I i'm not i'm not discussing that i'm only discussing the second person plural which is the very last two le words of surah 85 and allah is not unaware of what you do you do is a verb it's a plural and it's second person plural I'm pointing out that other Qurans read differently. The Warsh, for instance, changes that to they do, which is third person plural. So not all Qurans read the same. Arabic Qurans read differently. Mm, no, no, there are no difference. In, uh, can you please show me if, if you have any proof? Yes. Uh, okay, you send me. You send me and then after this I'll send you my yes um i don't know how yeah, i because, attach yeah because, because i've got it on yeah, my because, i've got it on my laptop i've got it on my laptop and i'm speaking to you on the phone so i don't know how i transfer to the phone and then send it to you D um did you contact me on facebook if you contact me on facebook i'm sure i can attach on facebook on my laptop and then send you this Okay, yeah, basically yeah. you are, I, I will, I will answer you, but basically like you are talking about like various Quran, yes. the various way to, yeah, that's why I can't, because uh, I never had yet find out the different Quran, because, uh, um, gently that's why I am actually a bit confused. If you send me the contact, if you have a proof, then I will make it yes. correct. If you could please send me something on Facebook tell me that you're the man from pakistan and that you want the different qurans the wash and the hafs and i will send you the file okay now you have sent you send me the message to messenger and i will i'll send you okay no you no you have to i am old and i don't have the best it skills i'm speaking to you on my phone my details are on my laptop I have Facebook on my laptop. I think we contacted each other originally on Facebook. 
So contact me on Facebook. Make it clear who you are. You're the man from Pakistan, and you want me to send you the scan of Surah Chapter 2 Al Bakra, Ayah 85. And you want me to send the scan of Surah 10 16. Make it clear. Because I get lots of messages. I don't even read half of them. I just delete them because people just spam me all sorts of stuff. So I don't even bother reading them. So just make it clear what you want and then I can send it to you. But I can't do that on the phone because I don't have any files on the phone. The files are on the laptop. Okay, okay. Don't yeah. worry. I'll send you, yes. I will send you the source of book. I will mention as well. Yes, sure. Okay? sure. I will mention um, I mean, there's. I will mention it. Yes, there's thousands and thousands of differences between the early Quranic manuscripts, and yeah, I know, I and, know. and and the halves. I mean, Surah 1438, it's only a very small change. Surah chapter 14, ayah 38, verse 38. The halves says that's the 1924. It was canonized in 1924. The halves. So, yeah. You know what we conceal and what we reveal. But if you go to the top copy from the mid 8th okay. century, so it's about the same time as the later Sana Palimpsest, um, it says, you know what we conceal and what he revealed. So it reads slightly differently. And of course, it's so easy to make that kind of mistake, double we rather than we and then he, when you're relying on memorization. Uh, I memorized yeah. parts of the Bible many, many years ago. And it's it's so easy to make a it's so easy to make a, a mistake like that, um, but the half Quran differs from the top cop cap copy. Okay, okay. You know, and and although I'm only looking at the translation here, it differs in the Arabic text. Okay. And, and I'm just puzzled. But look, thank you very much indeed for your help. So I'll wait for you to text me on Facebook and then I'll I'll certainly post you those attachments. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Why not? Why not? Why not? I will mention as well in poor Pakistan and as well I will send you the text message like about you are talking about Sotil Bakra. Yes. And as well I number eighty five. So Thank as you. to get so as to find out properly. And please send me if you have script if you have some proof. Yes. And that's so I will find out and then after this we will discuss about that. Okay, that's lovely. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have a next class. That's why I will talk about uh, like uh, uh, yes. one yeah, one hour one hour later. Which which city are you in, Pakistan? Lahore. 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 Okay, sir. Thank yeah. you very much. Bye. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.